All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over the parts needed to do a Predator 212 swap on your ATV. Uh, these part, parts lists could vary depending on what you pick up as your frame or what you already have, but some of the parts are gonna be common for all swaps. So the common parts you're gonna need are gonna be, of course, the 212 motor from Harbor Freight, a sprocket, a chain, and you're gonna have to have a way to mount the motor. Um, mount the motor for us we had to weld so we welded bars on there and I'm by no means a professional welder so this one we had to get a motor mount plate and put it on there and like I said not a professional welder I used a Harbor Freight welder on all these but those are the basic things you'll need so the motor the chain and the sprocket so with these I bought this one, well, my dad did. It's a, it was a bare frame, so it had nothing on it. So basically, it was just a roller. It didn't even have a throttle cable or a brake. So we had to order these from Amazon. Um, and it's a kit, it's like 14 bucks. Uh, it's the throttle, it's the thumb, thumb cable, and then the 40 inch throttle cable. And then as far as other parts to get it going and running, you're gonna need a torque converter set up or a clutch. Um, I went with the torque converters because they're a lot better at putting power out, especially if you're gonna run like a long chain like these. So if you're running a long chain, the torque converter is gonna be a better option. Um, as far as fitting them on these ATV frames, we did have to mount it certain ways so the chain will line up, the motor would fit, and all that good stuff. So having a stage one kit actually helped fit that motor on there. Uh, it's by no means a necessity. If you have a certain frame, you can mount the motor farther up, but you'll have a longer chain. But the stage one kit eliminates the exhaust. So it gives you a straight pipe. And then it also gives you the ability to run an intake on it. So with the intake on um, these factory motors, they sit up pretty high. So it probably sits up to there and it would hit the frame. Um, so having the intake, and then the, the exhaust made for like a lot of room. So we had a lot of room to maneuver this engine around and figure out how we we're gonna mount it and where we were gonna put it. Um, other things that you may wanna consider, like I said, this one has a longer chain because where we had to mount it at. So we had to run a chain tensioner on it. And like I said, this is just a, a Amazon chain tensioner. And I'll put all these down in the links below. Um, so you won't have any trouble finding anything or if you're searching for the parts uh, As far as the stage one kit, you can go. There's two options um, From what I've seen, I think it's OMB Which primarily they sell on Amazon and then go power uh, The go power and OMB are pretty much the same thing from what I've seen I compared them. I've had both and I ran both I haven't had them side by side, but both of these are running the go powers, but they're pretty much the same is that kits as far as the plate that mounts on the carburetor and the exhaust pipe um, but a lot of these builds they're going to be custom so you're going to run in depending on how you're set up and what kind of frame you buy you're going to have to do different things to make the motor fit and make the motor work uh, the one over here is a tau tau 125 f and it's actually a full-size adult atv so we had a lot of room to play when mounting this engine on here. So as you can see, we could have went forward. Uh, we pretty much, so as far as the sprockets, we did change it up. So this is the first one we built right here. And we went with a standard Amazon sprocket. This is like 19 bucks. And then we found out we had to drill it because this Chinese frame had a different mounting for the axle. So none of the four holes would line up. So we ended up having to take it, center it and drill it out. So for this one, we, we figure it's gonna be the same thing because they're both Chinese ATVs. So this one, we went with a, a two-piece fly, uh, two-piece sprocket, sorry. And we had to do the same thing. We had to drill it out and stuff, but it was just a lot easier to do a two-piece on here when you're gonna run like a, a big sprocket, like a, a 60 tooth. And if you do a two-piece, you don't have to keep taking apart the hole. Like you don't have to take up the wheels when you're adjusting something or if you need to pull the sprocket off. You don't have to pull the wheels off or pull the whole axle out, which is really nice. Now, a couple additional things we added on here, um, aside from the stage one kit, like I said, the stage one kit was mainly 
for fitment because we wanted everything to fit. We didn't want to have to cut anything else. We don't want to have to move anything else. And we also didn't want to have to weld anything else. So the stage one kit, aside from that, uh, some other things we added because adults are driving both of these. This one was built for my dad. This one was built for my mom. Uh, we added a shock. So we got the RFY shocks on here. And you can buy these on eBay or Amazon as well. Like I said, everything is going to be linked below. And then another add-on we did, this one got a full set of four tires off Amazon. And then this one only needed two. The back ones are still good. So we're pretty much going to run them until the back ones are, are, are completely gone. But these setup combined, both of these, fully built with all the stuff you've seen on them so far, um, is $1,200. So a 212cc powered ATV for $1,200, that's two of them. So when we broke it down, um, this one ended up being a little bit cheaper and that's because of the frame. We got the frame a little bit cheaper uh, than we did the full size one over there. So overall, you can build these things even cheaper. If you already have a frame, you can cut that cost out. So, I mean, that's anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks typically and right now it's getting a little more popular with these uh these swaps so people are starting to sell them for 150 you know 200 bucks and i wouldn't pay 200 bucks for just a frame but if it already has a motor and it's already running i would pay 200 bucks i'd ride it out break it and then i would swap it over but that's a big factor in your cost a lot of these are going to be set cost so you know you can get the the motor for about 100 120 bucks from harbor freight uh the torque converter is 120 bucks from go power and then the stage one kit is like 90 dollars so the chain we what we did is we bought a uh, 10 feet of chain and then we cut it for one atv and we had enough for the other so that chain alone on amazon is like 20 bucks um and some of them will come with a cutter but the cutter sucks so the chain breakers, you're gonna to wanna to get a good chain breaker because you might have to make a couple adjustments. You might have it the perfect length. You know, you start ripping around this thing and then you get chain stretch, you're gonna to have to do it again. So make sure you get a good chain breaker when you do it as well. Now the last part of the cost is gonna be the actual sprocket. So like I said, we got that sprocket for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And the two piece was a little more because you bought the actual two piece adapter and then you buy the two piece sprocket. So I think total that setup was like 40 bucks. Um, the main cost on this ATV, this one right here, the full size one, was actually the tires. So the tires were like 150 bucks off Amazon. And uh, I'm still testing them out. I have um, a set on here. There's two on the front of that one. And then there's another ATV I have put away that has a set of four. So after I get a couple, you know, a couple more hours on each one, you know, and do some trails, some mud and all that stuff, then I'll be able to do like a good review on those tires. But like I said, that's that was added cost to both of these. So if you already have a frame that has good tires and the frame's already, you know, pretty straight set up, everything you wanted, um, that cuts the cost down. Um, I've seen guys do these swaps for, you know, 300 bucks or they already had a motor laying around or they bought them off like marketplace and they got the motor for 50 bucks because someone bought it and never did anything with it. Um, so like I said, the, the cost is gonna vary. But certain parts, if you're going to buy them brand new, those are going to remain the same, which is going to be the motor, the sprocket, the chain, and the torque converter. Like I said, if, you, if you're running like a, a very small, small ATV, you can get away with not having a torque converter. You can just go ahead and do like a, a clutch, and that'll work out just fine. If you're running something bigger, you're going to move bigger tires, you're going to want a torque converter. Um, and that'll help you get more power to the ground. So... Hopefully this video helps. Um, it's basically an overview of everything on these two ATVs as far as the swaps. Um, before I end it, I'll go ahead and show you one of the one of the favorite things about these is you know the Chinese ones. They always have issues starting. It seems, especially if you don't drive them for a while. Uh, these typically start right up, and you get rid of a lot of the electronics on on ATVs, the Chinese ones, and you know the, even like the Hondas. My wife's Honda has a ton of electronics on it. So with these, you just flip it on turn on the fuel choke it and it starts right up so that's one of my favorite things about these swaps um, is that it eliminates a lot of electronics and 
they usually start up like first crank. So you can't beat it when you're riding around, you want to shut it off real quick. You don't have to worry about a battery. You don't have to worry any of that stuff. Literally, you just flip the switch, you turn on the fuel, you choke it, or if you've already been running, you leave the choke where it's at and you start them right up. Um, so they're, they're pretty reliable. These motors are on a lot of different things from pressure washers to wood chippers, just, just anything. You can buy them just straight like this, um, you know, in a box. So if this one blows up, it's not a big deal. You spend another $120. You don't have to go through electronics. You don't have to worry, you know, the hard setup of ripping a motor out. If, if it's a more difficult ATV, these are very, very simple to install once you have them like in place and lined up and everything. So, you know, you already have your four, four mount holes drilled. You just line them back up, throw the new motor in, put the chain on, start it up and take off. So I uh, hope this video helps. Like I said, two swaps, uh, I'm gonna do a trail ride video pretty soon because uh, on our property we just built a quarter mile trail um, It's nothing too crazy, but it's good for taking these ATVs out getting the kids out and I'll do a couple videos of these ripping around and and show how they do I'll do a speed test on them um, the only things these these motors have on them is the uh, the intake and the exhaust so You know, we'll get a speed test. We'll see how that does and I got fuel jets for both of these then we'll throw them in but if you have any questions, comments, or you're doing a swap, you already have done a swap, uh, drop them below. Um, I love hearing it. Uh, if you see something you don't like, I don't care. Let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope this helps somebody. And like I said, I'll drop all the links below. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully it'll help somebody find the parts easier. You might see a part that you need, that you like, but you found it somewhere cheaper, drop it below so someone else can buy them cheaper. I'm posting links to help you find them and, you know, eliminate the search process to help you find them but if you found a place that has them cheaper then by all means post the link so somebody else can buy them cheaper um that's the whole point of these is to help people out so like i said hope this helps and uh, i'll see you in the next video